thing she said is a bit crazy, but she said she saw this. to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like and turn on the bell so that you can know the next time I release a video. Today's video is gonna be a little different from the others. It's a story time video where I'm gonna be sharing with you my experience visiting a psychic for the first time. I've always been enthralled by the idea of a psychic. I just never felt like spending the money required to visit one. I definitely wanted to do some research and find one who had great reviews and that was real because I still don't know if I really believe in it or not. But anyway, it's something I always wanted to do. I've always been fascinated by astrology, zodiac signs. It's something I've even wanted to study I just have not dedicated my time to doing so in case you don't know I am in LA this is the rooftop of my apartment look at these views I love it this past Friday I found a psychic she had great reviews she's located near Melrose I took the public transport to get there because I don't own a car over here and I ended up paying for the full package that means I paid for her to read my past my present and my future she did a tarot reading she read my chakras and she went into detail about my relationships my career and and my health. As soon as I left her, I wrote down everything that she said inside my little journal over here. I think it is the cutest thing ever. Look, it says Giselle. It was supposed to have my zodiac sign, which is Aquarius, but um, they forgot to engrave that. I'm gonna skip my past and present because who cares about that? I already know my past. I'm quite aware of my present, but the exciting stuff she spoke about. One of the topics she got into was my career and whether I would be successful or not and how much money I would make. She said that the reason success has not come to me yet is because I have to go through a lot of life lessons to prepare me for when I become successful so that I can know how to handle it. She said that I am on the cusp of being successful. She said that she can see my projects taking off around January and she said that I will make enough money that can fill up the entire room from floor to ceiling hey. when she said that I could not stop smiling I was like she said that I'm too busy right now to be focusing on love at the moment, but love will find me this year. The person will have an A somewhere in their name, either in their first name or their last name. She said that this person will either be Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I don't know about all that, but let's see. She also said that I will be in a healthy relationship with this person. This person will be my soulmate and that we will have three kids together. She told me that by looking at my thumb. I don't know what on my thumb gave her this indication, but something did. And then she said, I'm going to live a long, healthy, happy life. Then she started talking about my chakras. She said my third eye is blocked, that I'm constantly confused with which direction to go. So I'm constantly tugged between the two, She's, which is really true. She said, I need to clear this chakra. She then said that the chakra that needs the most work is my throat chakra. This addresses low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, and the inability to express feelings. Yeah, I struggle with expressing my feelings when I feel like it won't be received well. When I feel comfortable and safe speaking to someone, then I'm like a f fountain where I just spill my guts out. But actually, depression, terrible boundary setting, all those things are things that I have been struggling with a lot to overcome as of recently. I do feel like I've come a long way, so I'm pretty surprised that she said that that's the one that stood out the most to her because that's where I've struggled with the most so that was interesting and the third chakra that I need to unblock is my solar plexus which focuses on self-esteem power and purpose so I 
guess that makes sense because all three go hand in hand with each other. She said once I've unblocked these three chakras that I will unlock my success and my full potential. And if I work on it regularly, this should happen around January. So let's see. She mentioned that I have a green aura. I'm gonna read this from Google because I do not know what the green aura represents by heart. So according to Google, it says that the green aura relates to heart and lungs. It is a very comfortable and healthy color of nature. And when seen in the aura, this usually represents growth and balance. And most of all, something that leads to change. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry about the loud background. But anyway, I found this part so funny because it's so true, at least it resonates with me anyway. It says that people with green aura are not fond of working hard, but will do so if it gains them a prosperous life. Yeah, there's probably some kind of crime scene going on somewhere. We just had a helicopter fly over, so maybe there's a chase happening. I don't know. This doesn't have anything to do with my past, present, or future, but she did mention that she saw Miami being relative to my life. And I found that really interesting because I was literally flying to Miami that day. Like immediately after I saw her, I had to come home, pack my suitcases, and then go meet my family in Miami. This other <laughs> thing she said is a bit crazy, but she said she saw, when, when she flipped the card, this was happening when she flipped the card after she mentioned Miami, right? I. I I'm the one who like shuffled the cards and gave her the deck and then she flipped it over and it said death and I'm just like holy hell that's insane but the other crazy thing is that while I was in Miami my grandma's sister passed away how wild is that finally she asked me if I'm aware that I have a gift and I was like no what gift do I have she said that I am very intuitive with people and I'm very good at reading them I don't know how true that is but I don't know whether or not what she said is true. I will see success in my future. It gave me more drive and confidence and purpose. It reaffirmed the direction that I'm going in and that the decisions that I'm making are the right ones for me. It's honestly just what you need to hear whenever you're doubting yourself, whether it be in your relationship or in your career or in life. It's just really nice to hear someone else say that you are making the right decisions for yourself. If you'd like to go ahead and get a reading from her, then just go ahead and send me a message either on Instagram or let me know in the comments below and I'll get in touch with you and I'll connect you with her and I hope you are able to get something out of it just like I was well that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and subscribe to my channel give it a little like a little thumbs up and turn on the bell so that you can know the next time I release a video all right I'll see you later